everyone welcome to another video in this video we will solve an issue right what is that issue in power automate sometimes whenever we are dealing with files in sharepoint we are getting log error it will display the error like the file is locked by some other process so you cannot do any operation on that file for example you want to move the file from one folder to another folder my intention is I have a file here excel file and here this is the table and the table name I have created is table 1 and my intention is whenever this excel file with table 1 will be uploaded here in my SharePoint uh, folder raw folder uh, as soon as it is uploaded I want to read the table information uh, available in this excel sheet in power automate then after reading that records i want to move the file from raw folder to processed folder okay now what will happen let us check i'll go here and try to create a flow i'll click on automated cloud flow click on skip i always try to skip because uh, it will give you more space to define the things let me give a name uh, process excel in sharepoint I have just given a name and I will use uh, SharePoint connector why because my intention is whenever a file is uploaded here in the raw folder so the trigger is when a new file is created I want property only when a file is created property only take the site address what is my site address my site address is this one d365 files how to know that you will see here the URL sites slash d365 files i have created this communication site in sharepoint and in this uh, site i have created two folders raw folder and processed folder so i have created site address associated and library i can choose document which folder i want to use that raw folder so go to share document and uh, raw folder so what this trigger will do as soon as you upload a file on the raw folder in this site it will trigger what i want to do i want to read the excel file that is uploaded in the raw folder as we have mentioned here in the folder and we want to read the table information available in the excel sheet so take another step and search excel online business i want excel connector and i will use a uh, step action step called as get a list row present in a table right so this step or this this action can be used to extract the tabular information available in an excel sheet i read all these informations now i have to provide the location what is the location the location is the site name the site name is available here sharepoint site what is the document library the library is documents what is the file which file you want to read the file that is triggered this flow so where the file path is available that is available in this trigger so you can search here the path and here you will get the full path so this full path is the complete absolute path of the file that is just uploaded which triggered this flow which table I want to read I want to read the table if it is not displayed use custom and give the name of the table my table name is table 1 how can you understand go to here and select this drop down you will see the table 1 so this table information I want to read so I have given table 1 so this step is reading the records of that table present in the excel sheet now once it is success what I want to do once it is completed I want to do another step I want to move the file from this folder to this folder processed folder so what I can do I can take another uh, control another action move file that is available in the SharePoint so there is a move file action you have to provide the move file information what is the current site address the current site address is this one a365 files which file you want to move I can give dynamic value I have full path with me 
what is the destination site I want to move this is the destination site which folder you want to move the folder is available in the shared document and processed so this is the target folder if another file is already exist with same name what you want to do I want to move with a new name right so I have taken three steps this is the trigger which will trigger the flow when a new file is created the second action will read all the rows from the table from that excel sheet and after it is reading it will move the file from source to destination from raw folder to uh, from raw folder to processed folder right now save this and try to test okay i want to test it so how to test it you have to upload a file i will go to raw and upload my file i have this file with me just close it and upload in the raw folder so this is the excel file i have uploaded as soon as i upload the power automate should run and it should uh, execute all the steps but you will get error in the last step why you you will get error because whenever the power automate will try to process the excel sheet uh, it locks it it keeps a lock on the file so that any other process cannot uh, do any and uh, cannot do anything on that form on that uh, file that's why as it is trying to read the uh, file in the table information using this step it creates a lock sharepoint itself creates a lock on this file on this file which file is this this one and as because because of this lock implemented the move file failed with this region why cannot be moved because it is locked mode so power automate it power automate itself retrieves information because of this the sharepoint locks this file okay so how to handle this i have completed my process but i want to move it and the lock is still there so here you need to do some extra work what extra work you have to do you have to first take a variable how to resolve this take a variable and this variable initialize the variable and give the name as log file you can take any name log file boolean and i want to give boolean as true expression and make it true that means by default the log file boolean variable is true next what i want to do i want to do a loop add action use control and use do until step what i want to do how many times the uh, loop will run until unless this log file becomes false so write down select here log file is equal to false so till this log file is false initially it is true and the loop will uh, run till the log file is false now there should be something some step which will make this file this variable false so what it will do what we will do just move this move file step inside this do until loop so the move file step will run in a loop now this will not resolve the uh, this will not resolve the issue we have to do some more steps how to make this log file variable as false because otherwise it will keep looping um, always infinitely if the uh, variable value will not become false so take another step add an action and here i want to set the variable now okay first we need to let us do one thing let me save it what you want we want to because we have seen that in our last run it was throwing error so when it was thrown error we have to copy something because we need here so save this first go back to the run status 
open the last failed step and go to that step where, where it was throwing error and go to this body section and copy the entire response copy this now click on edit because that response we need because we have to parse that response now after this move file i want to add an action called as parse json use parse json why i'm using parse json because i want to extract the properties from the body response of this step so which content i want to parse i want to parse the body of the move file step which schema what is the schema of this response i have already copied click on generate from sample and put it here it will generate for you remember this parse json will only execute if this will fail so what you can do click on this parse json and click on configure run after and use if the move file has failed click on done so what will do what will it will do this parse json will only execute if this step will fail now after this step because it is uh, running through loop right so i want to add another step after this if parse session is parsing the content of the body response in this step i want to add another step what i want to do i want to set the value of this variable by conditionally to check or to make it false how to do that take variable use set variable and use the variable log file and what is the value i want i want to do something i have to write the logic expression what i want to write i have to check if this is the expression you can use if if the message sorry we have to use contents formula expression if the message the message uh, message is from parse station step if the message contains if this message contains comma locked because this message always contains locked message if it contains locked what i want to do i want to set as true else set as false okay so what it will do it will set the variable value by checking the condition if the parse session parse session will just uh, parse the json object of the body response of this step and the parse session uh, extracts the information like message and message and status of the response i am checking if the message contains a word called as locked locked then it will make false sorry it will make true that means it is still locked otherwise it will uh, make the what happen uh, let me just remove this go to expression and put it okay write down if this contains if this contains locked then assign value as true otherwise make it false right so in loop so when it will when this set variable step will run whenever this will be success so go to here and configure on after already there if it is success the last step is success parse json step is success then it will set the variable otherwise it will not do that right so in the loop it will try moving the file again and again and checking the error message if error message is uh, error message contains locked field then it will set the value as true otherwise it will set the value as false and if it is false 
it will stop the execution this way we can give some time to the flow to keep waiting till the lock is removed click on save right once it is saved what i can do let me i have already created another uh, uh, flow let me turn off that so this is the file i have this is the flow i have created just now so let us test this let me go to the share point i have already uh, two folders everything is blank just click on test manually now once you are testing you have to upload a file go here and upload a file i have uploaded the file i am expecting the flow will run now this time the error will not come but it will keep waiting for some time and try to move the file from raw to processed folder um, by checking the log message in the return message once the error will not come it will try to move that means when the locked uh, locked condition is removed from the share point it will try to move because we do not have control over the lock system of the share point on files now let us wait so it will try to run the flow because yes now the first trigger is done listing out the records is done initialize variable is done now it is trying to move the record move the file from raw folder to processed folder it is still trying to check the lock if the lock is removed then only it will try to move otherwise it will keep failing right you will see one thing so let us wait for some time now after five minutes you will see all steps are executed and the flow runs successfully how it is done and the file also moved from raw folder to processed folder and how it is done and this is done because and as you see in the process it is moved now this is because the loop is running and you see first time in the first run it it run 60 times you see the do one until loop running 60 times and on the uh, 59 step it was uh, it was seen that there was uh, the move file was success that means starting from first loop to 59 loop it was throwing error this move file was throwing error that means the lock was implemented and we are trying to check the parse json you will see in the first step we are getting this error lock error in the second also second loop if you check it you will also check we are getting this error message in the uh, message but if you go to 59 then you will see the error is not there because this two is not implemented and the body is having different content there is no error right that's why implementing this logic do while loop is important if you want to manipulate the files in the SharePoint. Thank you for watching this video. Uh, please subscribe this channel if it helps. Um, I will come with new videos. Thank you guys. Bye.